Hi guys, Phil Bars here. I know it's late, just going to do a quick video. I'm just going to do a roundup of the last of the second round games from the World Match Play in the Winter Gardens at Blackpool that's just finished this evening. Great session of darts, I have to say. Um, it was the older chaps that, that stuck out for me tonight. A lot of people thought the youth were going to come here and do really well at Blackpool, but it's the old guard that have stuck around and provided all the highlights so far. First game on tonight was Brendan Dolan against Merv King. A real close game, I have to say. Before a dart was thrown, it was it was tough to call a winner after the first round because they both played very, very well. But this evening, it was Merv that just had a little bit extra. Um, almost as if you could see where Brendan had struggled over the last year, 18 months. Merv just looked a little bit more battle-hardened, battle-ready. Um, big darts were going in when he needed them to. When Brendan was having one dart at a combination finish, would hit the wild, just go inside. Merv, Merv was hitting them. So Merv and King won that game 11-8. But a good game and both played really well. Second game on, one of the best games we've seen at the tournament, I have to say, so far. It was the world number 8, Michael Smith, against the f forever young Steve Beaton. Now, going into the game, Michael Smith was quite a big favourite with the bookies. But... It was Steve Beaton who rolled back the years at Blackpool this evening with a real majestic performance. The uh, I think he's about 54 now, give or take a little bit. Strutted round the stage as if he was 21 again. Just a real, real rhythm to his throw. It was smooth, it was elegant. Um, and the pace suited both players. They both liked to get on with it. And Steve just was, as I said, was majestic. And he beat Michael Smith tonight 11-7. Um, so, a bit of a surprise there. Many thought Michael Smith would, would win and, and do well in the match play, but unfortunately, the World Number 8's tournament is now over, and it's Steve Beaton that goes through. Next up was one of the banana skin ties of the, the second round. It was Phil Taylor against Mensor Sulevich. Now, Mensor before the game, was just outside the top 16. Um, with tonight's result and the first round result, he jumps into the top 16 now, which is great for obviously great for himself. But Phil dealt with Mensor really, really well tonight, I thought. Um, hit big shots when he needed to. He was composed tonight, where in, in recent tournaments, Phil, for me, has lacked composure. He's wasted darts, but none of that tonight. He scored really, really well. Took out his doubles very well. Uh, Mensor averaged around about 98-ish, give or take a few digits. This evening and Phil over the hundred. So, for for Phil to win by that scoreline when Mensor is having that average, is is a great performance from from Phil. There's no denying that. Last game in on this evening was Terry Jenkins against the back to back world champion Gary Anderson. Now again, many thought this would go Gary Anderson's way, and it did. Um, a majestic performance from Gary Anderson this evening, strutting around the stage like a world champion. Uh, played like a world champion from leg one to the end. Power scoring was there, like it always is with Gary. But his doubling for the whole tournament has been superb. Just off the back of the World Series, where he's won three of the four events, he's come to Blackpool full of confidence, and that's showing. Um, again, over 100 average from Anderson. But more importantly, his double percentage is about 52% for the tournament. Now, if he can keep that up, quarterfinals and onwards he's going to be very hard to beat there's no doubt about that for me um he just looks a million dollars at the moment and it i know they've both got to win their quarterfinals but it looks like that phil taylor and gary anderson are on a collision course for the semi-finals which will be an amazing game if they both get there the top half of the draw going forward quarterfinals tomorrow the standout tie has to be michael van Gerwen against dave chisnell both have played very, very well. Chisnell could upset the world number one and tournament favourite if he can hit doubles. We all know that Michael just does what he does. But over um, both games so far, averaged over 100. He just, that's Michael over the last three years. But Dave, we all know Chizzy scores like anyone. Can he hit doubles tonight? Well, sorry, yesterday. He hit doubles and again, averaged about 104 which he's probably going to need to do somewhere around there, if not better, if he's going to beat Michael. But it should be a cracking game tomorrow. Right, I know it's late, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up there, just giving you a quick roundup of tonight's results. 
If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. That would be great. Cheers, folks.